Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Insane Craft. Let's jump down from this tree here, and let's get building our new home. We can actually chuck this away for now. Let's get out the Horn of the Wild, because we're going to need to break a load of... It's very loud for a second, but I just don't want all of this stuff uh, on the floor around us, because it gets very annoying to deal with. And that's the exact reason we got into Britannia before moving. Because I knew I would like this, and it's very useful. <laughs> Especially when we've got real speedy speed. Because we can kind of just horn around and crush everything, which is wonderful. We'll pick up the flowers, because I'm sure they are useful. Um, oh, that is a mod we need to get into as well. Lunacraft or whatever it is. Um, but let's grab all of this stuff. Make sure we're not wasting things, obviously. Um, I just don't want it in the ground. Uh, and I think that's about it. We've cleared a nice big area around us. So let's chuck all of this away. Oh, we don't, also don't need this sword. Uh, did that stuff go into here, though? It did. And that's fine. Uh, so that, all of this, that, perfect. I think that is good. We can actually tidy our inventory a little bit more, put that away, put that away. Uh, and let's cut down some trees now, I think. This one in particular. And get some wood so that we can... Oh, it's night time. Let's sleep through this night. Our first night here, actually, in the new home. This is very fun. Okay, cool. So sleep through the night. Oh, the nice thing is also about these generators is because they run off of diamonds. Previously, obviously, we've seen when I run out of iron to make a bucket, I'm kind of screwed with the system. Now we have the diamond chickens. We just take it out of the chicken. It is a perfect system. Flawless, some would say. Without flaws. Uh, I'm sure there is a flaw with it, but I haven't found it yet. Uh, and it's probably a flaw that I've made myself somehow. Uh, oh. This is a lot of tree to cut down, but, ooh, the, the world doesn't like it either. Um, I need to start cutting through it, though. Uh, let's get on top of it, I think. Oh, my bad. There we go. Uh, and let's carve down into it. There we go. Are we getting the saplings first? We are. White cherry and pink cherry. Oh, they're different types. I haven't really noticed. Um, that's fine. We're just trying to get rid of them for now. Well, we need the resources from them as well. Let's not just pull it like get rid of. That's a little sad. We are. Oh, there's the white. Yeah, okay. I see the difference now. I do see the difference. I'm not blind. Okay. Perfect. Right. Is it different wood? No, it's the same wood. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Let's get all of this cut down. We're getting points in lumbering. I still have no idea about that mod. But we're chopping trees down and we're getting points in it. And that's all that matters, right? Wrong. Replanting is what matters. Uh, okay, right. Let's dig into here still. There's this. Oh, okay, we've got a bee. Oh no, bees. Another breeding mod of some sort, I'm sure, where I have to breed up a load of animals. The chickens have really melted my brain, still. That was a lot of work to get to where we are with the chickens, off camera. Like, loads of people have been like, oh, why didn't you just do it? It would have been satisfying. You would have hated it. Genuine hate would have come out of you. And you have unsubscribed, then I would have been sad, then you would have been sad. It would have been a... A vicious cycle. Nobody wanted it. So we didn't do it live. Maybe if I start streaming again, that sort of stuff can be done on stream, but there's no way I do that on camera because 90% of it would have been cut. Um, and then everyone would have just complained about short episodes. Uh, Silver at Lime Tree. You are different. But a small tree. And I appreciate a small tree that can be cut down easily. Perfect. Okay. Right, so these are getting cut down slowly. That's perfect. Oh, missed a piece here. Uh, let's get this one as well. 
Right. We got our chickens out here. I don't like this weather. This is a bad sign for the new house. Um, okay. So we need to basically expand and have nice little areas for things. Oh, we also need a farm. A nice area for a farm. Maybe over here would be quite a nice area for a farm. It's kind of got this natural, like, hill into it. Oh, a little cave as well. Oh, is that? Oh, that's a sheep. I was like, what is that? Um, yeah, this is looking good. I just don't, I need a vision. That's what I need. I need uh, a vision of what I want this place to look like. Um, and then we can go from there. And currently I'm a little bit visionless. Um, so we're cutting trees down. But I also don't want to ruin this area. Like just demolish the trees. So I don't want to go too wild with the tree cutting. He says. Tearing into trees with this axe. Um, what I could do with is the shovel as well. Chouvel. Uh, and I think we could do with terraforming this bit. Oh my god, the wind! It's picking up like that. Is it pulling me? No, it's not. I was going to say, Christ, that's actually really cool physics if it's pushing me in the direction that the wind is going. I want this this dirt to fill in that hole in the ground as well, is the issue the creeper made. It was a bad start to moving into this new place. Uh, I did forget we managed to cobalt all of this, which was why it's, one, high durability, two, very quick. Very nifty little uh, tools we've got. This is going into our inventory, yeah, that's fine. I was worried for a second it was just disappearing, I was like, oh wait, this is not wood. Hello? What, oh, did I get struck by lightning or something? Or the wind? Don't know. Weird. Uh, let's eat for a second, actually. That was really weird. I do find that happens a lot in this uh, this pack. Just random little little things. Sometimes I'd be chilling in like the um, gold house, and I'd just get blasted by something for a second. It was a little bit weird, but that's fine. We dig up all of this, and then we have a bit of a bigger area to work with. Um, I like the natural barrier that this produces, so like the house going here is a is a nice idea, I think. And it means we don't have to immediately tear down the temporary home, which I feel like I do a lot where I'll like go, I want to live here, and build right where I want to live, and then I'm like, oh, now I'm in the way of myself. Um, that speed up really gets me every time. It takes a tiny tap and I'm just trying to go Mac 5. Mac 10? Is it Mac 10? People say people say Mac 10. I don't think you say Mac 5. Mac 5 is a weird number to say for some reason. Uh, right. So torn all of that down now, which is good. Let's repair this hole first. First things first, I'm gonna say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way the things are feeling. Ooh. Love a bit of Imagine Dragons. Oh my god. Where from? Oh, there. I see you. Huzzah! Speed. Um, can we sleep? This feels like sleeping weather. You can only sleep at night. What about in danger weather? Damn it. Okay. Huzzah! Our storage is pretty good for how much we just rammed into it. Um, sort by number of items. There you go. That's what I wanted. It was looking weird for a second. Um, right. So over here is what I like. I do like a circle. Problem is, do I know how to make a circle? Ooh, my god, that is red. Um, right. We want a circle that is central with one block in the centre. So let's do 11. And let's start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or 9. Maybe 9. 
Um, how do you make a circle? Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up on the other screen. Okay. I think we've, I think we've got it now. Wait. I just need it actually up on the screen. Right. Yeah. 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 We got it. We got it. Okay. So in fact, we need to do only five, five blocks. So let's restart this. I was going way too big. Um, so we want. Let's try and center it like here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Then it wants us to do one, two, three. Then one, two. Oh, damn it. Three. Then one, two. Then one, two, three. And then five here. One, two, three, four, five. That feel circle? Feels like a shit circle. That's what it feels like. That feels better. All right, well, let's just build it again. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. But we prefer it to be this and this. Cool, that's fine. Oh, I'm okay with this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, we fix it ourselves because that one looked bad. Uh, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Perfect. And then we put one here again. We do this. Let's have a little fly up. And I'll just drop down and have a look at this circle from height. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Perfect, okay. That looks good. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll pull this up by two all the way around, which will be a kind of, do you know what? This is kind of like a reverse mushroom, I guess, because it's red on the bottom and I could do like a white cap. Um, or we could do an oak roof, maybe. Maybe an oak roof would look good. What does this end up being? One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I was worried for a second that I'd done this wrong somewhere. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Um, can you place a torch maybe like here somewhere? Yeah, that's fine. I just don't want you placing torches where I'm building. Christ. Um... Fine. Keep your torches there. Uh, right. And this will be our, like, main hub. And you'll understand why I say hub in a second. Because I might do multiple circles. But this is, like, a really nice space. We centre it here so we have, like, the door here. So this is our entrance. And then you have the big area. And what we'll do is we'll actually have, so in the center, which is here and here, in fact. Let's do this. Uh, one, two, three, four, plus. Uh, oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. So this is, oh. Go down. This is the, the center of our operations. This is the only one that's wrong. Um, so then we could do like a three blocks, for example, down. So we do one, two, that, well, that would be three. Um, oh, well, this is actually quite handy because I was going to say, and then we dig out this layer to be like a, a matching circle, uh, which works out quite nicely. Because all we have to do then is have to come over here and do like one, two, three, uh, and then 
think this is where we come over to over here. And then we fly out. Oh, fly out again. And we just rinse and repeat this on each corner, basically. One, two, three, four. And then I think we dig one more down. And then we should beeline across. Perfect. A lot of this is dug out, which is quite nice for us. Um, stand here for a second. Uh, I don't know what's happening outside, but I hear explosions. We can actually sleep, to be fair. Uh, slipper. Try and keep our area a little bit hostile-free for a while. Uh, we can make, I think, yeah, interdiction torches eventually, um, but we need stuff to do this. But this repels creatures and projectiles, which is quite cool. What is this? Why is this still here? Um, cool. So then let's go back in. And we need to do these two corners. One, two, three, four. And then dig one more down. Yeah, we're going this way. Uh, is it sandstone? Limestone. He says with literally a mod that will help him see what things are. Questioning things. Uh, that's fine. And then we do one more over here. One, two, three. And then four, five, I think is what we want to do, basically. Yeah. You always want a couple blocks in between so you can do wiring and whatnot. Um, because then, right, what we do is we do one, two here, one, two here. Because we know roughly what the shape is above. Um, we can quickly strip out some of this. And then some of this. We just want a rough looking basement. Um, so one, two over here. One, two over here. What? Gabbro. Okay. Because uh, it's five on either side. Um, so then one, two. One, two. And then over here we do one, two. One, two little diggy here, and this is kind of just going to be our, like, basement area sort of thing. As long as we can dig it out a little bit, it'll look alright, I think. We probably need to go a bit deeper, but once we've got the actual frame in order, uh, we can then go deeper with the frame. Um, which actually we may as well do now. Um, oh, we get so much cold from the fortune, it's lovely. Um, so, it goes, oh, but we're doing the inside, aren't we? So technically we should go one more block over on each of these to make sure we're doing the outside. And then we're following the same thing. Yeah, 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 smart. Not the biggest issue, but would have been a, maybe a bit annoying once we had actually built everything. Because it will be easy for us to work out where stuff should be. Uh, in relation to above, which is good. Uh, right, so that is now, yeah, we're right underneath the wall. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better choice, I think. Right underneath the wall, and I think we've done that on all four sides now. So now it's five, then three. So one, so five, then one, two, three, then here. One, two, three. Then we go here. One, two, three. And then here. One, two, three. And then five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So we can break this out. And that's one quarter of it done, sort of thing. Um, very easy. It's not a hard pattern to follow. We'll need to fill this in, unfortunately. I thought more of it was helpful, but that's fine. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. So one, uh, two, three. One, two, three. Then we go across this way, two. And then we go up this way, one, two, three. Perfect, yeah. And we can just tunnel this out again get ourselves some more dirt, which is always useful considering 
The amount of tree line here, we're probably going to end up with creepers just breaking our stuff regularly. And zombies break our stuff, which is very annoying. Um, I have noticed that zombies will, like, break into my house, and they'll break torches, and they'll break all sorts. Um, so this is all done here. Let's go from this side. So we go one, two, three. One, two, three. Then one, two. And then here, I think, one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. Sometimes getting a little confusing because I, I do have the diagram next to me, but because I'm not placing blocks, it's just more you're just trying to work out in your head whether we're doing the right measurements or not. But we're doing okay. We've done three quarters now. Uh, and it's looking pretty good. Right, so then just this is the last bit round. So we go one, two, three. I'm very worried about these explosions. Let's just have a quick look at what's going on. As long as they're not blowing up the house, we're okay. No, the house is fine. Okay, that's fine. I'm just very confused then. Um, so back down. So here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Then across here by two. And then up here. And admittedly, this won't directly match upstairs because we fix it by coming in one, I think. But not, not our biggest concern, to be fair. Uh, I just want to have a, a rough same like look down here that it is up there. We can probably even fix the the look that we do just by making a little tweak. Um, I just haven't thought to do it yet because uh, oh because uh, again I can't remember how we tweak it. I think it's as simple as doing this in each thing. Yeah, it is. Which is fine. Uh, here. And then here. Perfect. Um, oh my god, we've got so much stuff now. An Ender Wing Prime teleports you to your personal spawn point. Okay, cool. And Holy Arrows. Uh, let's put that in here. For now. Uh, and then let's do this for a second. And let's put in cobblestone, because we're actually getting cobble now. And silty dirt, because we're living in a silty dirt area. Oh, I didn't realise this was... Uh, we were actually getting cobble cobble, which is cool. Um, and this is kind of our underground area. Probably what we'll do is we'll, we'll go down by one more, just for the sake of um, space. Because I think having a two block ceiling is probably the most horrible thing anyone could ever do but what we can do is probably to make this a little bit quicker is we can just do it like this yeah there we go uh, and we'll get most of it just by doing it with a, a hammer and then we can tidy up the the bits that maybe we can't get yeah this is much quicker uh, like that perfect at that uh, dare. Oh, I'm already happier with this base. Because what we'll do is down here we'll do all of our uh, like power gen, um, all of our like stuff to keep out of the way, and then above ground will be our like more showcasey sort of house. Um, so dirty stuff downstairs, clean stuff upstairs, basically. But, this looks pretty good. Oh, I think that's one of the things I was aiming towards, was the ender pearl chicken. Because I could really do with some ender pearls. Because they would be very nice to make um, elevator blocks. Yeah. I'd like these. Because these can then tra transport us up and down the from the basement, which would be nice. We could see if we could make one... Well, we need two. So we could go and see if we can make two now really quickly. 
Uh, what's happening here? Yeah, I think this is right. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's why it's confusing. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Let's see if we can can make an elevator block actually. Oh, actually, we don't need to come over here. We've got this. Uh, can we make? <laughs> okay, so we don't even have enough wool uh, shears. Oh. We don't even have shears. Okay, uh, let's put some of this away. Uh, I don't think I need any of this stuff. There we go. Uh, shears. Where are those plentiful sheep that keep barring in my ear? I hear you. Oh, there you are. We need you, and then we need to kill some endermen when we see them. Because endermen have the, the eyes... The, the blinky eyes, so they can teleport around. What? What? Sorry, you told me there was one sheep. No, there's more. I was like, what is this? A joke? Uh, seven. So we need plenty actually, because we need eight per. Um, and we need two, so we need sixteen. Not plenty, but enough that it's a bit annoying that we don't, we didn't even have enough wool. <laughs> um, but we haven't done a lot of animal farming, to be fair. Um, okay. Mm, okay. What's the time? Ooh, we are getting quite late into this episode, actually. So probably what we'll do is we will come back next time and we will finish working on the house um, and try and move our stuff across, basically, which would be nice. And we'll look for some ender pearls as well. But that means staying awake at night and hunting endermen or going for the ender chicken, which as I said, there we go, there's the 16. Uh, ender chicken. There we go, yeah. Um, needs diamond and nether wart. Nether wart needs brown and glowstone. There we go. That's why I was going for brown, because uh, we've already got the glowstone chicken. Uh, so we can eventually make the ender um, chicken, which I think just drops pearls, which would be useful in general. Um, so for now, uh, I will see you in the next one. Maybe I'll hunt a couple endermen off camera and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, see you next time where we'll hopefully make some more progress on our new home. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.